This is a snowboard, and this is a splitboard. Both are used to shred down snowy slopes and are quite fun to ride. But only one can get you back up the mountain without the assistance of a chairlift. Splitboards were created in the early 90s to get snowboarders up the hills to the fresh powder in the backcountry the chairlifts just couldn't take them to. Here we will demonstrate how a splitboard works. What you will need. A splitboard, skins, splitboard bindings, slider pins, slider plates, climbing wires, shim and heel pad, touring brackets, and two pairs of pucks and discs. Located on the nose and tail sections of the board are the tip clips and split hooks. These are what keep the board together as one solid piece while riding. To put them into ski mode, just cross them. You want to use your board's outside edge as your ski's inside edge for optimal control. These components are for connecting your splitboard bindings to your skis. Since you'll be ascending in ski mode, you'll need to connect skins to the undersides of the skis. These will help with getting traction up those steep inclines. Before mounting the bindings, they must be connected to the slider plate. The slider plate is what will connect your bindings to the split board when it is in both ski mode and in snowboard mode. Insert the slider plate into the touring bracket and secure it in place with the slider pins. Once ascended to the desired altitude, remove the skins, pins, and slider plates from the touring brackets, cross the board back into snowboard mode, and re-latch all hooks. The puck is what joins the slider plate to both halves of the board. These are held to the board by discs. The discs are what hold the pucks into place and are adjustable. Secure the slider plates onto the pucks with the slider pins and you're good to go. Now that you know the basics, go out there and have some fun and be safe.